Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world away. Now, in the next couple of days, we're going to be working and talking about the Terminator. So today, I thought it would be a good idea to talk about the part work upgrades, Terminator Stand. Now you've heard of Partworks Upgrade before, I'm going to put the link down here for you so you can actually go and see what they've got on the website. We have used them in the past for things like the uh, little clamp there that will enable us to put the wand to the Proton Pack on the Ecto-1 build. Also a lot of fixes for the Terminator to stop some of those wobbles. One of them I haven't even installed yet, which I'm hopefully going to be doing shortly, uh, which stops the wobble in the wrist area here. Uh, but go over to Partwork Upgrades, they've got a plethora of things there for the Rossi build to the Ecto-1 to the Terminator. I mean they've just got loads there, go and have a check uh, but today something that we really could have done with from pretty much part one of the terminator is the terminator stand now before i actually get into it and show you what the stand's all about you can only use this stand when you've done the thoracic cage area of your terminator model which i believe is part 40 so once you've done part 40 you'll be able to use this now obviously you can only see the bottom of the stand and the legs here because it is so big so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my phone out and i'll be talking on my phone and just telling you all about the parts of this stand and uh, how cool this is uh, to actually work on your terminator so this stand actually comes in eight pieces. The first piece, this big section here, is the biggest slab of metal you've ever known. It's really weighty as well. It provides loads of weight for that. We've got two bits of metal on this, which is the massive base and obviously the shaft that the Terminator is going on here, which goes all the way up. But I'll get to that bit at the top there in a second. Now, we have got some 3D printed blocks either side of these. Uh, these are absolute solid. and You're gonna need a hammer to stick these in to get them in there, but that stops it going from the left side, the right side, or toppling forward. Now, if we slowly rise up the Terminator here, as you can see, at the top of the stand here, we've got three sections. We've got the bottom section here, and that fits underneath the thoracic cage there. Then we've got a top section, which clamps it in place to stop it falling forward, as you can see there. It's gonna go around to the back here, that's all bolted in with the last piece, which is this bolt at the top there. So this will stop it falling forward, but it does mean that we can actually work on the Terminator while it's upright here. That's my uh, squeaking chair. Now I believe we've got the arm to do on this uh, Terminator here soon, and the leg, but you can see how much easier it is that I can actually just turn this around and work on it without worrying about things being crushed or bent or out of shape when we are uh, doing that. But this stand, I mean, it is heavy. Don't get me wrong, it's very heavy and it needs to be because obviously the weight it's holding, you're gonna need a solid base. But this is a must if you're building the Terminator because the amount of times I've had to fix both of my Terminators at the moment because they've been lying down and uh, been bent out of shape uh, it stops that happening, especially for those shoulder areas there, because when it's lying down, they're moving backwards and forwards. You tend to find they work their way loose and you have to keep tightening them up again. But uh, this is the Agora Models Terminator at the moment. Down on the floor here, I've got the Hashet one. And as you can see, he looks pretty sorry for himself just lying on the floor there. Uh, I think it's much better to display that on a stand just like that. Now, a couple of things to mention on the stand. Uh, this stand can only be used while you've got the thoracic cage and while the thoracic cage is open. When it gets to the source where we're actually putting the chest plate over, we're not going to be able to use the top of the stand. But Ian over at Partworks Upgrade is working on that. Uh, also, the design of the feet that you just saw there, that may change in the future. Uh, but these are absolutely perfect at the moment uh, just to make it a bit more ergonomical, I suppose, uh, to, to how this is actually holding the Terminator in place. Uh, then the last thing is at the moment this is on an advanced order basis so uh, you won't be able to get these completely straight away but obviously contact part work upgrades it should be on the site as well give you an idea of the lead time uh, when you can expect this for yourself but I just wanted to share that with you because I think if you are building the Terminator, this is a must and it will just keep it in pristine condition until that time that we actually do get to fit it to a more permanent stand but while we're building it absolutely perfect but what I said 
Go and check out part work upgrades down there. You'll be able to see what they've got, not just the Terminator, but all the ranges that we're uh, currently building at the moment. And Ian over there is actually adding stuff all the time. So always uh, bookmark that page. You can check that for yourself. But I hope you like me demonstrating that. And I really do hope you like this video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.